మిత్రులందరికీ స్వాగతం ఈరోజు రాజ్యసభ సభ్యులు అదేవిధంగా మా పార్లమెంటరీ పార్టీ అందరికీ తెలుసు గత పది పదిహేను రోజుల నుండి వరంగల్లు హనుమకొండ జిల్లా లోపల సిపిఐ పార్టీ ఆధ్వర్యం లోపల వామపక్షాల పార్టీ ఆధ్వర్యం లోపల పెద్దేరు కమిషన్ కార్యదర్శి మాజీ ఎమ్మెల్యే పోతర సారయ్య గారు పార్టీ రాష్ట్ర ఏఐఎఫ్ రాష్ట్ర ప్రధాన కార్యదర్శి అనిల్ గారు జిల్లా కార్యవర్గ సభ్యులు చాలా మంది కూడా ఉన్నారు భూ పోరాటాలకు మద్దతుగా నేను ఇక్కడికి రావడం జరిగింది సిపిఐ జాతీయ స్థాయి లోపల ఇక్కడ జరుగుతున్నటువంటి భూ పోరాట జీవించడానికి అందరికీ భూమి లేదు అందరికీ ఉపాధి లేదు అందరికీ తిండి లేదు నీళ్లు లేవు భూమి లేనటువంటి పేదలు ఈరోజు ఈ దేశం లోపల ఉన్నారు ఢిల్లీ అండ్ వారంగల్ ఇస్ నౌ హాస్ బికమ్ ఏ ప్లేస్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ స్ట్రగుల్ ఫర్ ల్యాండ్స్ అండ్ డీసెంట్ లీవింగ్ ఐ కెన్ టెల్ యూ ఆర్ యు నో ఇట్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ వారంగల్ ఇస్ ఎ ప్లేస్ ఆఫ్ గ్రేట్ రెవల్యూషనరీ స్ట్రగుల్స్ of great fighters but the red flag played a big role in framing the destiny of warangal and united antra that heritage of the warangal area that heritage of the red flag in warangal is again reborn now in this place and this flag and this party along with the other left parties are trying to see that this struggle will become victorious let me make it very clear that trs governments should have to come down they should fulfill their promise we remember what they told last time when they come to the people asking for votes they have promised land for all the landless they have promised two bedroom houses for all the houseless people now we ask them what about that promise without fulfilling their promise completely forgetting their promise this government of kcr has no right to continue we will see that if that government is a government accountable to the people that government should do what they preach preaching and preaching saying great things and doing nothing cannot be allowed to continue you know the ponds in warangal big big ponds warangal was having a plenty of water in those days so many ponds all the ponds having water water was there for drinking irrigation agriculture for all those purposes there was once upon a time abundance of water now the communist party asked the government what happened to those ponds what happened to those water where it has disappeared all those ponds are now filled filled by whom filled by big people rich people moneyed people and the political friends of the government they have they have filled all those told the ponds of warangal and they are doing land deal lands sale and purchases real estate dealings are going on to the tune of crores of rupees a government which promised land for the landless is now behaving as commission agents of the rich people for their real estate mafia dealings and that government will be exposed the people will expose them and the communist party will lead those people in exposing this government and one thing is very clear we will not go back till this land 
is given to the landless. We will not go back till the poor people get their rightful land for their dwellings. We will not go back till all those people having a small place to live without rain and sun. Till that day, the Communist Party will be in the forefront of the struggle. We are glad that when we began the struggle, it was the CPI alone leading it. But now we are very glad that other parties with red flags, they have also come to join the struggle. And we welcome those comrades that they have come along with the Communist Party to fight for the poor people. And I am very earnestly requesting you, the friends of the media, this is the struggle of the people and the media should support us. The media has become the mouthpiece of corp corporates, mouthpiece of moneyed people, not because of you people, but the owners of the media. They are working at the behest of the rich people. Still we expect you and request you to do whatever you can to bring this message of the people's struggle for land to other parts of the country and support these poor people because they are part of you. With these words, I conclude.